Um, we're going to use clippers. Uh, normally you wouldn't use clippers on a schnauzer coat because as pet groomers do, it tends to soften the coat. The base of the skull. And we're going to clip with the lay of the hair. And we're going to make you line all the way back. And the schnauzer set, you put the entire tail with the same blade you use as the body. Basically, there's a, a little divot right here. You have to follow that. And then you're going to go a little bit more down the side and you're going to start doing your angle for the skirt. Side angle, you want to start high, not quite the elbow. You're going to lift the head up, and you're just going to go straight down to the breastbone, only to the breastbone. Of that head so they don't shake. I am only going to scissor around the edges because she is getting a little bit longer look. This is a specialized schnauzer cut. Down, um, if you look on the inside, it's a lot easier to tell where the ear leather is so you don't cut it. So you can just take your scissors and trim all that excess hair all the way to the leather, all the way around. And most dogs do not mind the scissoring. Scissor the top of TJ's head. Normally, um, on a pet schnauzer groom, a groomer would use the clippers, usually a number 10. But, we're doing a specialized schnauzer with scissors. And this is also for you guys that have schnauzers that will not allow clippers around their face, around their head or ears. This is just another cute little way. And you just want to take, the way I learned was side, side, middle. That way you make sure you get it even. You start at the very back and you work your way forward. Get her eyebrows. It's going to be kind of hard to do hers because she's kind of getting like a teddy bear head. So typically, we're going to go at an angle. Just like that. Leave them pretty eyelashes. And go like a V. You always want to have a firm hold on the head so that way you have the control. You're not hurting them by grabbing them or holding their beard. Not hurting them at all. You just want to make sure that you have the control. So if they jerk, hold that ear up so you don't scissor it. And you just want to make a nice little beard. Again, this is not the typical schnauzer head. This is a modified, specialized owner request. For any of you that just want something a little different for your pet schnauzer, this is a really cute, different look. I've already trimmed the toenails and I've shaved the pads. I'm going to comb all the hair down on the foot. And I'm going to scissor all the way around using the toenails as my stopping point. I don't want to show the toenail. Trim down that hawk. Comb, pick comb all your hair. I'm trying to get it to just kind of lay natural. And then you're going to scissor at an angle, take off the bulk of that hair 
then you're going to go straight down. Straight down from there. Way it all looks natural. Comb it down. Sides. You want to comb all of it down. Hold that front leg up. You're going to go up underneath and you're going to go up at an angle just like you did the pattern with the clippers. So you're keeping the same flow when you scissor just as when you were clipping. Okay, and then you'll do your front foot. Get to get that hair to fall natural and you're going to go straight down. There's only a curve at the foot. Front legs, you just scissor straight down like a post. You want to scissor at an angle. Get all that hair blended in with the underneath. You don't want a big bib. You want it to blend in with the front legs and blend under with the underbelly. I wish I was a teddy bear And I'm wishing that I hadn't fallen in love with you And I'm wishing that I hadn't fallen in love